Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Wa, Ha, Raka, Kodash, Double Honor to the Apostles, the Elders, and Salutations to you and Sir Brothers, Teaching in Truth and in Sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled Esau's Illusion with Immortality. I want you to close your eyes and think of a memory that makes you happy. Now think of a memory you associate with your youth. Now consider the most painful memory of your life. Now open your eyes. This device extracts the actual memory from your brain and displays it before you. The machine is incredible. This is the device, okay, that you see Peter Dinklage in. On this movie, this memory, Salaki, this device had the capability to play memories from your brain, such as memories that are happy, that you associated with youth, and also the painful memories. The painful memories would be in a state of repression or repress if you understand the term repress it means to press down the reason why people repress their memories is because they don't want to go through the pain that is associated with that memory to avoid thinking about it they block it out totally and this device had the capability to replay all these memories whether they were good or or um painful in real time Let's see how far Esau has taken this. Now you have to understand that these movies are not just for entertainment. Okay, This is also a form of communication that the elite use in order to communicate with. Can I answer any questions? What is it all about? Well, we're a company that produces 100% organic human sleeves. You're probably wondering what's a human sleeve. Well, if you gather around, I can let you know what we do here in full details. So here at Psychosec, we've been able to achieve true immortality by taking your human consciousness and storing it on a device called a portable stack. It's implanted in the base of your neck and it... It went from having a device which had the capability to play memories within your brain to taking your conscious and placing it placing your conscious on on an implantable chip revelation 13 and 16 and he calls it all who is he this beast like system and who controls this beast like system the elite bankers, all right, beginning with the Rothschilds, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right. Now, if you go into that term, mark in the Greek is karagma, all right, and it basically means to implant something, all right. Also, in the Greek, the term foreheads means that head region. The Edomites, beginning with the elite. All right, what they're trying to do is they're trying to change Yahweh by Shem Al Shah's format. Because once you come from the spirit world, all right, your spirit is placed in, in inside of flesh. So what Esau is trying to do is he's trying to place your conscious on a chip, all right, and place this chip inside a sleeve, which are these these images right here which brings me to uh, revelation 16 and 14 for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great of that great day of the most high almighty all right and these elite Bankers are utilizing this beast-like system 
to push their agenda. Case in point. Strong's G, 4592, say my on. Say my on. Right. B, a sign, prodigy, portent, example given, an unusual occurrence. When you're talking about placing a person's conscious on a chip and putting this chip inside of these sleeves, this is an unusual occurrence. Transcending the common course of nature meaning transcending the common course of the Most High's format, all right? Because Yahweh Bashem al Shai has already made the concept of the process of life and death, all right? Now, if you understand the term transcend, if you go into the origin of that word, it means to climb. And the definition is just basically defined to go beyond the limits or boundaries, all right, and what are the boundaries? What are the limits? Hey, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah's plan, man. That's why we say Esau is the goddamn devil, man. And look at this stupid ass Jake, man. And he's just promoting this propaganda. Will be who controls who? I don't want to ask, but I still want to ask. What's going on here? What's this about? <laughs> you seeing this? Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, well, it's like back to it's like Max Headroom. It's like West yeah, Virginia, so it's yeah. like outer limits. Creepy. Oh, hello. Hello. Can you um? All right. Crypto. Really, really crypto. Chip that you can put all your memories, every site, every fill, essentially you into, and then we transfer it into any sleeve that you like. That we have different ones. So if you want to be, say you want to be a female, we have different ones you can become, different nationalities. Anything that you want, so like I said, we can make. We also have male bodies. You want something stronger, something younger, you want to become fit. Hey, this goes to show you, man, hey, Esau is working miracles. Example given, unusual occurrence, transcending the common course of the Most High's format. We have that technology. All right. And the reason why Esau, beginning with the elite bankers, are doing this because they understand once they return to the, the spirit world, then, hey, they're going to be enslaved for a thousand years. And they are trying to create a process where they can live forever. All right, because just like we have these wicked spirits tempting to prevent us from crossing the finish line, there are righteous spirits going to the elite bankers and telling them that they're going to be enslaved. All right, telling them that their time is near, telling them that a hey, the true man of the Lord is beginning with the uh, apostle to and them on down, man. Everything is perfect balance, man. Best believe if these wicked spirits are fucking with the men of the Lord, then righteous spirits are fucking with the wicked, man. Just to prove that Esau wants to live forever. This is Psalms 49 and 11. It states their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. I'm going to read it again. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Let's focus on houses in the Hebrew. Strong's H1004 pronounced as Bayath, Bayath, okay? I'm going to get to the point. Human bodies, okay? So, when the elite are pushing the concept of 
having your conscience placed on an implantable chip, then they're trying to live forever because they understand what's about to happen, man. All right. So not only this scripture is talking about, you know, how houses or dwelling habitations It's also talking about human bodies, man, going into this artificial intelligence. OK. Second Thessalonians two and four, who oppose it and exalt himself above all that is called the most high or that is worship. And that's what these elite elite beginning with these elite bankers. This is what they're doing, man. So that he as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. And that's why, you know, prior um, uh, of the revelation of the truth, we believe that a uh, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah were white. OK, we believe that um, uh, their their names was actually God and Jesus. All right. The church in a physical um, place was actually the place to go to worship them. All right. This these elite bankers, they set this shit up, man. Going back years ago. All right. But it's still under the format of Yahweh Bashem al Shah because he ordained it so. But we understand through the spirit. All right. That a our the, the return of our captivity is near, man. OK. Last precept. Second Corinthians Four and four, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Now, who is the God of this world? Beginning with the elite bankers, man. Okay, they control every fucking thing. That's the reason why they're able to work miracles throughout the earth. That's the reason why they're able to come up with the concept and actually the technology to attempt to place a person's conscience on an implantable chip and then place it in a sleeve changing up Yahweh Bashem Shah's format if he's not the God of this world then who is second Corinthians 4 and 4 in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not and who believe not two-thirds of our people all right least the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach what's the light the glorious gospel of Mashiach who is the image of the Most High should shine unto them. Why? Because it's destined for two thirds of our people to get consumed in taking this microchip, whether it's for for health purposes or to per se attempt to live forever, or just because they believe in the image of this beast. Hope you were edified. Shalom.